Super Mario Maker 2 introduced so many brand new features and is one of my favorite games of all time. One of the biggest new features was the brand new 3D World Mode. However, out of all these new features, I feel that this is the most incomplete. There's quite a few problems with the 3D World theme that I feel definitely need to be fixed in an update. I do still like the 3D World theme, as it definitely is fun to play in and build in. However, there's a few things that I think should change so that it could be better because of right now, I think it's the most lackluster theme out of the five. So today, I'm going to go through some of the aspects of the 3D World theme that I feel should be changed to make it on par with the other four main themes, which were done perfectly in my opinion. But anyways, let's jump right into the changes I think should be made. First off, we need to change how switching between different themes works. As of right now, I am very scared to make a level in the 3D World theme, as whenever you try to switch the theme, if maybe you want to change your mind halfway through, it completely resets. Now I do understand why this is. Some items don't have equivalents in the other themes, so they wouldn't have anything to replace them with. However, why not just have those items disappear and have the items that are in all the themes stay? Even though a lot of the 3D World items are exclusive, it still shares a lot of elements with the other themes, so I would suggest just keeping those. Maybe a pop-up could come on screen to say which items disappeared between the transition. But anything would be better than just having the whole stage reset. If they were to fix this, this would make the 3D World theme a lot less risky to build in. Our next thing is adding in a feature that really should be there being shells. Now it is possible to get Koopa and Spiny shells, however it isn't possible to spawn them in from the start like you can the other four themes. Shells allow for so many complex contraptions to work, and I don't think it's too much to ask to be able to place these things considering they already exist in this style. And no, these shells don't need to be wearable. Just have the shells function as they do now, but have them be able to be placed from the start, instead of having an enemy inside. This will open a lot more possibilities for complex contraptions, especially with the new blocks in 3D World. Next, I suggest a complete overhaul to how the semi-solids work in this theme. The one main good thing I can say about them is that I like how they work with the cat suit where you can climb on them. However, there's a lot more room for improvement. For one, there's only one semi-solid design for each of the different styles, unlike the other themes, which has three, which was kind of disappointing. However, aside from just their looks, their functionality is also not fully correct. For one, you can't place a lot of the items on top of them like doors, which does make quite a few difference and does make it very hard to use them as backgrounds. Speaking of using them as backgrounds, you can't place blocks on the top layer, which severely limits its use for decoration. Just changing the semi-solids function to how they work in the other themes, plus the new catsuit functions, would severely help this item. The next missing feature doesn't make any sense. For whatever reason, enemy stacking was removed, despite enemy stacking being in the original 3D world. Seriously, this feature is a very important thing for making contraptions, or even just keeping enemies still so you can make jumps for example. This one really should be in, however unlike the other things, I'm going to say I don't see this coming in an update, as this would likely change a lot of old courses and how they work, which could lead to impossible levels. If they could find a way to fix this without changing old levels, this would definitely be a nice addition. Now our final, but in my opinion most important change, would be adding three specific missing items from other themes. Now the 3D World theme loses a lot of the items from the other themes, however they also get a lot of exclusive ones. But in my opinion, the 3D World new items don't make up for what's lost, or more specifically, they don't make up for the loss of the dotted line blocks, tracks, and one-way doors. Each of these items are so incredibly useful for all kinds of contraptions, or even just platforming. Seriously, the loss of these three items is all it takes for me to not want to build on the 3D World theme, as all three of these things are extremely necessary. I'm especially surprised dotted line blocks aren't here, seeing as the on-off switches are. But if I could add any change from this list, it would for sure be to add these three items in, as there are some of the most useful items in the entirety of Mario Maker 2. But anyways, those are all the changes I was able to think of for now. Do you think the 3D World theme needs to be improved? Let me know in the comments! Despite all of the improvements that I feel should be made, I still think the 3D World theme is an amazing addition, and I'm super happy it's here. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then leave a like or consider subscribing for more content on Mario Maker 2 or anything Nintendo Switch. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.